Greetings, everybody. I am Lobo, and welcome to episode 85 of my Minecraft survival series. And here we are again, back in Luna's farm district, because we got some work to do out here. Of course, last episode we went, we got all our crops planted, we got our food farm set up. Now, these are going to be automatic food farms, but we're going to need some villagers to actually farm these farms to do our harvesting for us. So we were also talking about last episode how we might want to go ahead and start work on our farm district council, which is going to help us persuade villagers to come into Luna's farm district, hopefully ones with brown coats, uh, because we are going to need at least five of those guys. So let's go ahead and get started. Now to get started, I think we first need to figure out what this building is going to be shaped like. So I got a little foundation drawn in here for us. It's kind of a weird shape. It's kind of a weird shape, but it should be pretty fun to build. I think we're definitely going to have the front right here. It's going to be coming in at a diagonal. We'll have the front door right here and we'll have one wing going this way, one larger wing going that way and straight back. We'll have another set of doors that goes into this back area right here. And I'm thinking this can probably be like some kind of back garden or something like that. You know, we can have a pond back here, some trees. I don't know. Just make it look all nice. Maybe a couple of park benches who knows but before we get started uh i think we should probably choose a block pallet and I think I've got one that I want to play around with for a little bit and see how it works for us. Uh, so what we're going to be using are strip birch logs as our supports, birch stairs as our roof. And of course, we have the bricks back here uh, because I realized that out of all the builds we've done in our city, out of all the builds we've done in the entirety of Luna, we've never actually used bricks for them. Uh, and that's because, well, we don't actually have a whole lot of bricks uh, and we have even less clay to make new bricks. So... We are going to be going on a little bit of an adventure, you and I, and uh, oh, it's been so long since I've actually gone through this area. Our business district entrance right here, the rotunda, the rotunda, that's what we called this one. Which uh, button even opens a door? I can't even remember. It's been so long since we've done this. Oh, the world is so scary outside of our city, but let's go ahead and collect some clay. Now, as far as clay gathering goes, I seem to have had the best luck in swamps, so that's where we're going to start our little scavenger hunt. There's one swamp over here directly next to Luna, there's one a little bit further back, and there's one by our guardian farm as well. So we'll probably hit up all three of those locations, trying to get as much clay as we can. Uh, I don't know exactly how much we're going to need for this build, but considering how I build, we're probably going to end up going through a good bit of it. Uh, so I'm not going to set a time limit for this. What I am going to do, though, is try to fill up all the available slots in our inventory with clay blocks. So let's get started. I think this is just about going to do it for us. That is the last clay block I am harvesting for today. Uh, so yeah, we got a pretty good amount of clay, probably enough to go ahead and finish our project that we need this clay for. Uh, and the goal was to fill up all the available slots in our inventory. That is exactly what we've done. This sand, that is the item slot actually reserved for our boat because I need to take our boat back home, of course, once we actually get back to Luna. But we got a little hitchhiker. I don't know if you saw that during the time blast. We had a, a chicken hitchhike with us. And uh, yeah, he's coming home too. Aren't you? Aren't you, little fella? 
Ooh, I hope you guys aren't afraid of heights because we got quite a few clay blocks up here <laughs> that uh, we need to convert into clay balls, that we need to convert into bricks, that we need to convert into like brick blocks. Oh man, how's the view from down there? Well, at this point, I think we should just go ahead and grab our non-silk touch shovel and see how many clay balls we can actually get. And the answer is a lot. <laughs> we got a lot of them. Uh, let me go ahead and throw all these into chess real quick before they have a chance to despawn. And then we'll bring them all over here to our super smelter and smelt them into bricks for us to use for our project. And it, things are heating up in here, guys. Things are heating up in here. I love our super smelter. Like, I really enjoy this build. Like, watching it work, like with the lava pouring down and everything, it just looks, it looks so awesome. Oh, man, I love this place. All right, so I, this thing smelt stuff fairly quickly as you can see here yeah we've already got a couple stacks done already uh but we do have quite a bit left to go so this is probably going to take a while so while we're waiting we could be working on some other stuff and as we were talking about we might want to have a backyard or a back garden back here a place where we can come to and just kind of relax kick back relax by a nice little pond uh so i think we probably want the pond like straight diagonally back from where this doorway is going to be let's see if we can mark it out real quick like the spot we want it I'm thinking right about here and we're going to have another set of doors through this wing looking back out here and i think yeah, that might be that might be a good spot for it. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and carve out a little bit of area and we'll go ahead and start building in our little pond. I think we've got the general shape of it figured out. Uh, so what we're going to have here, we're going to, of course, vary up the block palette. Like I think around the tops here, I want to have waterlogged blocks. So that's why I haven't filled those areas in with sand. But it's not just going to be sand. We're probably going to add some more block variation here. Some some gravel, some podzel, some stuff like that. Not podzel, um, coarse dirt. Coarse dirt is what I want in there. Just not grass, you know? So what I want to do is go ahead and fill this in real quick. And then we're going to start adding a bit of decoration. I just remembered that you could do this. That you could bone meal the ocean floor and get seagrass. But not only that, we can get coral too over here. We can get coral right underneath our waterside district, which is pretty cool. I mean, of course, we're not using any of that today for, you know, our pond. But it's nice to know that we can get that here. And then we're just going to take this seagrass and spam it all over the bottom of our pond. And I think this is probably going to end up looking pretty cool. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. One right here. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Oh, man. And because as of the last time I checked, we were still smelting, I think we probably want to go ahead and start figuring out where we want our trees in here. So I definitely want one on each side of the entryways. So we're probably going to have another entryway right over here, which means we're going to have another tree right about here-ish. And then I think we'll probably want some on the far side as well. So I'm thinking maybe two over here, one right here and another one at the far end right here. Now, I think that's probably going to be good for us. Let's go ahead and scope this out and see what it's going to look like. Um, and I feel like the balance is off. Maybe we need one more right over here or not that close to the wall. <laughs> somewhere over here, like right here-ish. Yeah, I think that is probably going to work for us. So let me go ahead and maybe go ahead and start getting some of the skeletons of these trees built in. Now, I think I want these trees that are surrounding our entryways to be fairly tall. And I think I want the ones along the back wall to be just a little bit shorter. Um, I'm just getting the, the rough shape of them in right now, just like getting their branches and all that stuff kind of figured out like where we're going to end up putting the leaves a little bit later. But I want to get like the general shape, the general structure of it in first. And some of these are kind of close together. Their canopies might overlap a little bit. We'll have to do some pruning uh, of this probably most likely once after we get our leaves in, we'll see how bad it is. Uh, but yeah, I just want to kind of get a general shape in right now. And let me tell you, jump boost <laughs> is indispensable when building trees in this game. Oh, it's so awesome. Uh, so we want to make sure we have the centers of the trees going up pretty tall. And I think I do want that there. Actually, let me put that back in and then we'll like have it come off just a little bit to the side like that. And then that one can come out. Yeah, that's that. That'll work. Uh, and then we can take this out. And, you know, I don't want to have too many logs up here at the top because I want more space for leaves uh, because you're not going to see like all the weird like, you know, the weird places where it touches like the, just the corners and stuff like that. Once we actually get the leaves in. But, uh, you know, I do need them there for now. 
And we also have to be aware of like where the walls of our building are going to be as well. We don't want to build too close to those either. So I think this might work as far as the general shape goes. We can always change it, but I think this is probably going to be pretty good for us. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and get the rest of those in now. So there's a reason why I want the trees in the back to be a little bit shorter than these ones that we built up near the front. And I'm going to go ahead and show you that real quick. I'm going to explain my reasoning for that. It's because when you come over here and look through those trees, the bigger trees are going to frame the smaller ones in the back. And that's going to offer us a much prettier picture, I think, than having them all the same height, having all the canopies at the same level, you know. So I think that's going to look much, much better. All right, I got the rest of them in and it is looking pretty good, I think. Now at this point, we all our bricks are finished smelting, okay? Uh, but at this point, I'm not sure that I want to work on the building today because I got started on this. And the thing is, I love landscaping and I really want to continue with this. So I think this might be the project we work on today and we'll reserve the building for next episode. I mean, we are going to have to get like the general shape of the building in here so we know where to actually put our leaves for our trees uh, just to make sure they don't touch, you know. But I think after that, we're going to return to this. Now, as far as getting the general structure for our farm district council built in here, we already laid out the foundation. We already know the general shape of the building. And all I'm going to do with these bricks is just build up from that to a height that I deem suitable for this build. Uh, so in essence, it's just going to be a big box. You know, we'll work in all the details. We'll make it look pretty probably next episode, I think. But for right now, I want to work on the landscaping because that's something I don't get to work on enough. Usually I say that till, you know, we get most of the structures in an area built and then I'll move on to the landscaping because, you know, I want to make that work with the structures. But since this is, you know, going to be situated, this little uh, back garden we're working on is going to be situated between the back of this building and the back of our city wall. You know, we don't have to wait. We can actually go ahead and get that in. And I'm actually really looking forward to it. So I think this is about as far as I'm going to take this today. You can see the general structure of our building. This big part of this wall, that's going to be the same length as this wall over here because I want that to offer a little bit of symmetry. Those sides are basically going to mirror each other, I think. Um, so we know our entrance is going to be right here. Let's go ahead and carve out a space for that. Uh, mostly because we want a way to get back to today's project, right? Uh, I think maybe, though, we want more than one entrance up here at the front because this is our farm district council. You know, this is where important business happens. People are coming and going, and they're not all going to wait in line to get through the same door, especially if the guy in front of them is slow. And so uh, let's go ahead and make our way back here. We'll go ahead and carve out our back door as well and see what that looks like going out into this area. And... Oh, I can envision it already. I like it. All right. So I don't think we are going to have the leaves interfere with the building at all. I think we actually built the trees in such a way uh, that we aren't going to have to worry about making compromises or anything like that while getting our leaves in here. Uh, so, yeah, at this point, let me go ahead and I guess collect some of those and we can go ahead and get started. Now, as far as getting our leaves in here, I think what we want to do is start with the background, then work our way towards the front. Because if we did it the opposite way, if we started with these front trees and then worked our way backwards, we wouldn't be able to accurately judge what those back trees look like because there'd be leaves hiding them, right? So I think this guy in the back, he's the one that we're going to start with. Now, I would not consider myself an expert landscaper by any stretch of the imagination because I've only actually done a few custom trees and they've all been in this world. You've seen them all done. Uh, so we've been learning as we've been going. But what I like to do in general is just get myself a nice basic layout first, basically going two out from each log just to give myself a decent amount of coverage and getting a general shape in here to start off with. And then we go back in later. We add details. We add, subtract details, you know, add leaves, subtract leaves, basically, uh, until we get the tree to be shaped the way we actually want it to be shaped, you know? Uh, I think that's good advice for pretty much every single build is just getting a good starting point, getting a general structure in there first and not worrying about the details until you're ready to actually add them. I mean, I mean, that's at least what has worked best for me. And then once that's all done, we go back in and we start just throwing some leaves around, trying to fill the space out a little bit better. And we always step back and just see what it looks like from a distance and judge what we actually need to do to it. So right now I can tell that this upper right corner right here, this needs to be brought out a little bit more. I'm also going to add a few birch leaves to this just to give it a little bit more variety. It's going to be subtle, but there's going to be a little bit of variety in here as well. Uh, so I got this side padded out now and we can see how this looks from across the pond. And uh, hopefully this works for us because if it does, that means we can move on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. So I think that's yeah, th those trees are going to look good. All right. So let's get some more of these done. 
And that's two down. Uh, almost, almost. Um, I still need to add birch to it. I know that, but I think also I want to thicken out the trunk a little bit right here. You'll see over here. I did the same thing over here. I kind of thickened out this trunk a little bit to make it look more supportive of those branches. And I think I might want to do the same thing right here as well. I think I might want to go ahead and just thicken out the trunk. Uh, we'll throw a stair in there to make it more of an even transition and we'll step back and see how that looks. Um, I think we're on the right track, but I'm not a fan of the of the upside down stair on top of the regular stair right there. So I think what we might do is try to bring this out a little bit more as if it is a branch, you know? So let's go ahead and throw a log in right here and then a stair. Actually, we might want to go ahead and put a log in there because you're probably going to be able to see that through the leaves. So we can do something like that and then a stair right there. And then, yeah, yeah, that's that's much better. That is much better. It's never too late to change things three down now and yeah this area is really starting to come together i started adding a little bit more dangly bits to these trees as well i think we could probably even use another one right over here let me go ahead and throw some more birch leaves in here right under this and i think that's gonna look pretty good let's go ahead and check it out from the other side and yeah yeah and there is number four, number four, the first of our taller trees. And, you know, you can see the, how this differentiates itself from the smaller trees around it. You know, it gives us a little bit more variety. Uh, the canopies do touch right here, but you see that they, they're only one leaf block thick. So you can actually see through them. You can differentiate which canopy belongs to which tree. And I think that's going to work. It doesn't matter that they touch if you can actually tell them apart, you know. Uh, so at this point, we do have two more trees to go and we are out of leaf blocks in our storage system. But that's fine. It just means a trip to the House of Leaves. Now that should just about do it for number five. And we have one more to go. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, and that is number six. Almost, I think, almost. I think we do need a little bit more separation in between these trees. So let me go ahead and carve out a few of these leaves and then we'll call it for number six. Oh my gosh, water. Stop it. You stop it. All right, uh, let me let me go ahead and let's do this real quick. Let's do this real quick. Let's go ahead and carve out some of these leaves so that way we can actually tell these trees apart. And I think maybe maybe something like this, something like that should work, I think. So you should be able to see a separation between the trees as we walk around here. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. I want to get some get rid of some of that squareness at the top also. Now, I thought it might be kind of cool if we added some flower beds around our trees, but instead of flowers, we add wheat in there since this is our farm district. And I think that might look pretty cool, especially if we add some more hedges in here, kind of build them out a little bit. Uh, we can get rid of these ones right here since they are going to be like infringing on our pathway that leads to our pond. Um, and yeah, we got to get rid of this one, too. Um, I'll figure out how we're going to do that in a minute. Uh, yeah, let me go ahead and kind of replicate this on the other trees and we'll see what we can do here. Yeah, trapdoor is going to let us get rid of that leaf block, but also let us maintain that hidden lighting in there, which is pretty cool. Now I want to start getting our pads in here. Uh, we're not going to have a whole lot of pads throughout this area because it's a small area, but I definitely want to have a path leading up to the pond from our building right here. Uh, and we're not going to go all the way back to the building because we're probably going to end up doing stairs and stuff in here later on when we actually do the building. But I do want to get the paths traced out and it's not just going to be path block. We're going to supplement that with some coarse dirt, some podzol, and probably some oak logs as well. And as always with builds within our city, lighting is a huge concern because we are going to have villagers wandering around here. So I think what we're going to do is just hide glowstone behind or underneath trap doors because that goes pretty well with the other blocks that we've chosen for our paths. So let me go ahead and get a few more of these in. And then we'll wait till night and check the lighting and just make sure that everything's looking good over here. Make sure that, you know, none of this place looks like a place where a monster is going to be hanging out, spawning while our villagers are back here trying to relax by the pond. I think we're good for the most part. I think we are pretty good. Uh, so there are some other areas I want to take care of. I want to get some more hedges in here along the back wall. I want to do some benches and stuff in here and I want to get the rest of the ground done. Uh, so let me see what we can do about that. And I think that should just about do it for us right now. So this is what our back garden looks like at nighttime. Oh, man, I love it. I love it. I think that looks really cool. Now, I do kind of want to see what it looks like during the day. So let me come back here in just a minute. Oh, yes, 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 yes. 
This is looking awesome. I think this is looking awesome at least. What a difference landscaping makes with a build. Like, you know, once we actually get the building in here, like this really makes it come alive. Like, you know, you got to imagine the rest of our farming district. Once we get landscaping around these buildings or a building around this landscaping, that's when these areas actually start to come to life. And if you can imagine it, then, you know, you can see it start to come together. You can start to see it how I see it, you know, when it's all complete. Oh man, but I think this might be actually one of my new favorite areas in the farm district, or at least it will be once we get the building done. And we can take a little swim in our pond as well. I think that is going to be awesome. But I do think that is also all the time that we have for today, guys. So if you have enjoyed this episode, please feel free to hit that little thumbs up button. That would mean a whole lot to me. And if you want to see more, please remember to subscribe. But as always, I just want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I deeply appreciate it. And until next time, I am Lobo, and I will see you guys later.